For three is live right now over Center City and the Vine Street Expressway. As you can see, massive flooding. It is just surreal to look at that. Has shut down the road since early this morning. Maniunk, no stranger to flooding, but this was historic. Water destroyed businesses and sent cars floating and debris into roads. Main Street is closed. Drone Watch 3 in Mulca Hill, Gloucester County. You can see how a twister ripped through this community and decimated, absolutely destroyed this home. We continue our team coverage now with Joe Holden in Bridgeport, Carrie Corrado in Mullica Hill. But first, we begin with Matt Petrillo in Center City. Matt? Justin Yuki, during any normal 5 o'clock rush hour, the Vine Street Expressway would be packed with cars. Instead, it is flooded with water. The good news, though, it looks like the water's receding. Take a look at the gap between the bottom of the 22nd Street Bridge and the height of that water. It looks like it is at least several feet. That gap, though, was a lot shorter earlier today. And I also want to show you the road, the dirt, and debris on the off ramp of 22nd Street. All this is the, where the height of that water was earlier today. Now it's all the way back there. And something else that's happening right now is these pumps. They arrived just a few hours ago, and it looks like crews are working to pump water off of the expressway. We just don't know exactly where they're pumping all that water to. And all this is happening just feet away from where crews are setting up for the city's famed Made in America festival, where so many people will gather for a two-day-long concert this weekend. Now, people who live in the area don't know if that's going to happen with the city now partially flooded. I mean, I've never seen anything like this before in the 10 years that we lived here, and this is actually our 10-year anniversary of moving into the neighborhood. And I don't under, I think I would be problematic I would imagine just to go forward with the concert given the devastation that is occurring, and it is devastation. Yeah, so many people are telling us that, and city officials say the flooding of the Vine Street Expressway is largely because of a major pumping station. Uh, so water was not being properly pumped into the area, and crews have not said exactly how long it's going to take to clear all this water off of one of the city's main waterways. Reporting live, I'm Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you and the crew for that look. And